three enclosures here ready to go to house things from my latest package from Mantis Mayhem. So I've got three new guys in here and I've also got something else as a surprise that I want to try out. Look at all those mantids. So there's three new guys in here that I'm going to go through and there's also obviously a lot more that um, I have other plans for in another little project which I'll go through and talk about at the end but Let's get started by having a look through the three latest species that I've ordered from Mantis Mayhem. Never used them before, but it was really well packaged. There was uh, adequate labelling on the boxes and they've all arrived absolutely fine, which is fantastic. So let's go through and see what we've got. All right, so let's get the boring stuff out of the way first of all. Just some green bottle flies that I've ordered. Um, because the blue bottles I had are looking a bit big. Recently, my orchid mantis, he came into maturity and got his wings, which is awesome. I'll try and put a clip up of that right now as I'm speaking, just to show him off a little bit, because he's looking great. But yeah, I tried him with a blue bottle and he just, he didn't seem to want to take it. He just looked annoyed because it was just buzzing around his enclosure and he was, I thought he was trying to catch it, but I think he was just smacking it away because he was probably trying to sleep so yeah I've uh, got some green bottles which should be a bit smaller help with uh, some of the smaller guys who aren't ready for the blue bottles yet let's have a look at mantis number one Silnia humoralis or the wide armed mantis And maybe we'll house these as we go along. We've got these little mini enclosures ready to go. They will get rehoused into something bigger when they uh, get age appropriate. So these guys come from Africa. They have several color morphs as they grow. Um, and as the name suggests, they have really massive raptorial arms, which uh, make them very very good hunters and you might even show that off now these guys are known for being quite aggressive and powerful as well so I'll be interested to see how we get on with him when he, when he or she, I always call him he I don't mean to assume his gender but it just makes it easier and I don't like calling him it so yeah he's apparently really aggressive so we'll, we'll, as they get older they can be quite aggressive so we'll, we'll see that'll be interesting um but yeah they you should see him come into his big arms uh, around the fourth in star or so contestant number two is deroplatus desiccata or the giant dead leaf mantis. These guys come from Southeast Asia. They range from brown to brown. Uh, can be a lighter colour or a lighter shade of brown. From my experience, I think it just depends on the humidity in the tank. If it's a high, a bit higher humidity, they'll lighten up. Um, I guess similar to the wild, if they're in a more humid environment, they won't need to look quite so dark leaved. Really docile species, also quite fragile though. I think these can get up to about 12 centimeters, maybe. Well, maybe not quite that big, but at the high, high end of the scale, about 12 centimeters. And if these guys feel threatened, they can also throw themselves on the ground and try and crumple themselves up, or appear to be crumpled up like a leaf I mean you would never know one of these guys was in the leaf litter would you and let's get him in his new home
There you go, little fella. No. Come on. There you go. You seem very chilled. No, come on. Go in properly because I don't want to get your legs caught on anything. And last but certainly not least, so Donatella Lestonia. Took me a few tries to get that one right. Uh, another African Mantis. Oh, he just done a poop on me, didn't he? Dirty boy. He's a. Uh... Oh, he's distracted me now. I think he done that on purpose. Uh, yeah, African Mantis. Should get around seven centimeters long. He's a flower mantis. Um, he's looking quite brown at the moment, but once he reaches maturity, should get some really nice green coloration. Now, unfortunately, lost my previous flower mantis, a Pseudocreobotra Walbergi, so I'm really pleased to have another one because I, I really like these guys. They're just adorable the way they behave like right now showing off for the camera in care does he pupping on me dancing around pulling off some yoga whatever yeah he's looking awesome already so i'm looking forward to the seeing him rise to maturity go through his color morphs um hopefully we'll have some more luck with this guy let's get him housed Honestly, you'd think that when they see a nice, lush, green environment, well, natural environment, rather than my hairy arms, that they'd go straight to it, but nope. I don't always like using this brush, because I feel like they, they don't seem to like it. They sometimes get a bit aggressive towards it. I really like his coloration, he looks so cool. It's like an orange and white kind of colour. Right, you're making this very difficult, my little man. No. Alright. Here you go, look at this nice stick you can get on. There we go. Let's see how they're settling in. Dead leaf mantis there. Hopefully he's going to hunt those fungus gnats that are flying around. Nice little snack for him. There's our wide boy. Looking forward to seeing his guns when they develop and he gets some nice big fat raptorial arms see what they're capable of and this inquisitive little chap trying to break his way out already so on to the next thing I wanted to talk about and I've just noticed that the guys that mantid, what is it, uh, Mantis Mayhem, have actually sent me an extra one, which is really awesome of them. Very impressed with their service. It was fast, it was well packaged, and they've even thrown in an extra one. And what exactly is in these pots? The answer is seven Ghost Mantids. 
So as I've spoke about before, I'm really keen to give it a try and make a communal enclosure for these guys. And then hopefully we can see if they'll continue their little legacy and give us some nymphs, which will be awesome. I already have uh, one ghost mounted there. You can't really see him, Milton Jr. And of course, Milton, who's reaching maturity soon. One more malt to go. So I did consider putting him in with Milton Jr. But I don't know, I don't want to risk it because I've had Milton for ages, so I didn't want him to. So I didn't want him to get eaten. Uh, but I have this enclosure ready to go. Obviously, it needs some decor in there, which I'm going to sort out in a upcoming video. I'll do that now, but I'll probably make another video out of it, to be honest. Otherwise, this one might be too long. My only concern, though, is whether these ventilation holes are going to be too big. I don't want anyone escaping. So, I will see you shortly when we create the enclosure for these guys. Let's just hope that a few months down the line, there's still seven and nobody's going to be eating each other. It's not a battle royale, guys. All right. I probably should mention that the Philocrania paradoxa, ghost mantids, they can be kept communally. Obviously, mantis uh, mantids have the reputation of being notorious for cannibalizing each other and for most species, majority of species actually, that is the case. You do not want to be keeping mantids um, together once they reach their second molts. But these guys, I think it's because they're so chilled out, like all the ghost mantids I've had in the past just chill, don't really do anything or don't do much, probably don't even notice each other and they're not really bothered by each other. So as long as you keep them well fed, they should behave and mind their own business rather than chomping on each other's faces. So fingers crossed there'll be no face chomping. I'm not sure about this guy. He looks very suspicious.